The Coast Guard's Wonder Woman competition comprises three grueling days of physical activities that threaten both bodies and minds of the women in Belize's security forces. And on Wednesday, one of four teams competing this year will be crowned champions. This morning's competition kicked off at 9, with the easiest challenges the women will face over the next few days. The first event is the CGP. Um, it's a female version. Um, you do pull-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, and a two-mile run. Um, basically, it is um, endurance, um, how much push-ups you can do in two minutes, how much pull-ups you can do, best effort, how much sit-ups you can do in two minutes, and then the mile, the two-mile run is the best effort, how fast you can do it. This morning's competition already begun for this afternoon. We have um, the one-mile ocean swim, which is going to start at 1400 hours, and then after the one-mile ocean swim, there is the two-mile run. So. Finishing the one mile ocean swim, the um, women get into their PT gears and they do the two mile run. Everybody's very energetic. Usually for the first event, everybody's very excited and um, they're here for the competition. They're here to compete. They're here to win. Everyone, everyone is going for first place. So um, the women are very excited. The importance of this competition, well, um, one, it uh, builds uh, leadership, team building, um, and then physical fitness because that is what comprises our security forces, physical fitness. Um, but uh, most of all, leadership and team building. Um, I think that is very important, especially when we participate as leaders and, and, and have uh, teams like that. It is very important within an orga organization. And for the past month and a half, all 32 women competing have been training non-stop. So much so that some of them can even outperform the men of the security forces. Every time we train, we would like clock ourselves and try to do a better time than we would the day before or the week before. So we always try to beat our own scores on our own time. I feel good. Like I said, our aim today and everybody's aim today was to beat the last amount that I had. So I basically beat my amount with push-ups and beat my amount with sit-ups and with the pull-ups. So I definitely feel accomplished and that's what everybody's aiming for. Beat the last amount or beat the person that, that you think you can beat. Personally for myself, my greatest challenge is the running because I'm a long distance runner. I run 13, 26 miles. Um, this small run is basically two miles. It takes my body six miles to get warmed up. Oh, wow. So these two miles hurt the oh, yeah. most for me. Imagine. But it's just me. My team, my teammates, yeah. they basically have the running. Everybody in the team has a weakness yeah. and the stronger person would compensate for that person's weakness and that's how it goes. Most of the time the guys would say, oh, they can't do this because they're females. But doing this and holding these events, we basically prove to them that, hey, we can do it. Um, after I finished with my push-ups, one of the guys was like, wow, I didn't know you can, you have more push-ups than me because I did six or seven. And he's like, my last amount was 60 push-ups. So it's basically to show them, hey, we, we can do it and we can sometimes do it better. And while the police department did not participate this year, Two of the teams are from the BDF, and they believe they have a shot at beating the Coast Guard women on their own turf. You can see, I'm tired. The first event um, took place, but so far I'm confident that our team will do um, great. It's the same that we normally do in the BDC Defense Force, APFT, which is the push-ups and sit-ups. And the only thing that's different this year is the pull-ups. So we normally take the pull-ups up, but we do the um, sit-ups, push-ups, and the two miles run. So it's not difficult, not supposed to be difficult for the BDC Defense Force. We have a good chance this year, hopefully. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.